Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. When last we left the Avatar, we finally have a home that we can live in without things killing us. It has a roof, it has a door, and it has all the things that I need to survive for the moment. A bed, some storage, a furnace, and a crafting table. Speaking of a crafting table, we could do with another one, because we're going to go and search for goodies deep beneath the ground. And I want to switch this so that it only shows things that I can make. I also learned about shift clicking to put all of my resources into the crafting thing that I want to make and getting everything out all at once. That I learned from playing in my own time. Not with this world, but with my survival world. Now, what time is it? It's just gone past midday, so let's see if I can go and find somewhere that I can do some mining. I'm probably not gonna do any mining right now because I don't want to get attacked by all of the enemies that would appear during the night. There's probably not gonna be anything over here, but it's worth double checking just in case, and I could do with getting a little bit more wood. Eventually, I'm going to have to make a pen for the various animals that are around, and so getting some wood is a good idea. I also want to make an area where I can uh, farm things in relative safety. Going over to the water isn't that much of a trek, but it's still not as close to my house as I'd want it to be. Now let's move these here and see if I can get... There are some sticks. Sticks are always useful. And a few other things, like a few more oak saplings. I never realized how valuable oak saplings were compared to the other types of saplings, because only oak and dark oak trees will drop apples. If you're in a biome where they don't appear, getting apples is extremely tricky. So, we'll get rid of these. We got nothing else, but that's fine. There's a giant tree there if I want to uh, go and cut that down, but I don't just right now. Later, giant tree. Now more things to cut down here. We're gonna have to cut down a lot of trees before uh, I can uh, make those fences. Also, remember when I said I was going to go look for somewhere to uh, dig into the ground? That clearly didn't happen, did it? Such is the nature of Minecraft. You can get started doing something, and before you know it, you've distracted yourself. Also, I want to uh, plant this tree. I always end up making wherever I uh, situate myself into a forest because of all the trees that I plant. The Foresters and Settlers 2 would be exceptionally proud of me. And I've mentioned the Foresters and Settlers 2 before. Settlers 2 on the brain? Maybe. Get rid of all of these. Didn't mean to pick up these seeds, but I'm sure they'll be useful at some point. Really, I don't want to uh, go too far away because of where the sun is in the sky. It's just dangerous at the moment for me to venture too far out into the uh, unknown. And a lot of this world is the unknown right now. Now, what was I getting rid of? Which tree was I getting rid of? I can't see it anymore. Probably because it... Ah, there we go. The leaves on that tree were distracting me from the leaves from this tree that used to be a tree and is now a pile of floating leaves. It doesn't work, but gravity doesn't work quite like how it should in Minecraft. Ooh, is that an apple? That is an apple. The other thing I've learned is that uh, food works differently from how it used to when I last played. I remember originally when food just restored health. Then they changed it so that food restored your uh, hunger bar, which then restored your health. Now it kind of does both. It restores your health quite quickly, and then it will um, fill up your hunger bar as well, so that your health will uh, regenerate that way. A little bit of both. Not bad. Do I want to plant more of this? Not really. I actually want more of the uh, wood that is available here. There we go. Hello, chicken. Eventually you shall be in a fenced area, safe from any monster that would try and kill you. Admittedly, the monsters don't try and kill chickens, but chickens can sometimes perish, mostly due to the explosion of creepers. There's also a horse. If I could get a saddle, I would use that horse, but I don't think I'm going to be getting a saddle for a long time. A saddle is certainly a long-term goal. That's going to be a trader, 
or a um, or a dungeon that I will uh, find that in. Also, I figured out why the uh, trader wasn't there and appeared invisible. That was because the trader actually was invisible. When traders are under threat, they drink a potion of invisibility and hide themselves. That's quite ingenious. Let's plant these here. And I think that will do for chopping down trees, at least for now. We have plenty of torches, so we don't need to worry about uh, illuminating the area. The long-term goal is to use lanterns to illuminate the uh, farming area, and the uh, pens for the animals, but for now I really don't have the iron to spare. So it'll be torches. Torches are fine, they just have a little bit less illumination, and they're not as hardy. It is getting very dark. We will quickly plant a tree here, and we will plant a tree here. And then, we'll pop into our house and have a rest. After, of course, we have grabbed some wheat. That one is ready to be harvested. Most of the other ones aren't. Those aren't ready, those aren't ready. This one's ready, though! That's something else I learned. I learned which ones are ready to be harvested. There we go. Put this back, this back, that back, that back, and we could make another loaf of bread, but I actually don't want to because I'm probably going to be luring things over pretty soon. But we will rest. That's something we will certainly do. And now it is day, and we are safe. Time to do some more crafting. We want some of these, about this many. And then we want one of these, maybe a few more of them. And now we want some more sticks. We don't have many more sticks, though. We can make more sticks. If I shift-click here, I can make as many of these as I want, but I don't want to, so instead I will do this, and then shift-click here. And then shift-click here. I'm learning, everyone! You never thought I would, but I am. We will get, uh... And then I immediately decide to do things wrong. Silly me, just because I'm learning doesn't mean to say I'm actually doing it right. We'll do that. We'll get more of these. There we go! We have absolutely loads of fencing now. The problem with the fencing, of course, is that I don't actually have something that I can uh, move water with. Do I? I don't have enough iron for that, but I can certainly fence off the animals. That's a zombie! Hello! You brought me a present! That present happens to be... a shovel. And you also brought me some damage. I'm not happy for the damage, that's for sure. Let us, uh, make a pen... Hmm, not here, because here's a little close to where, uh, my house is. I don't want it right next to my house. I will put it here instead. Here seems fine. So, I'll, uh, get these fences here, put that there, put this away, get some more seeds, and then that's not where I want that. There we go. And move this block. Perfect. I don't know which animal this will store, but, uh, we have one. There we go. I want a torch here, 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 and here. And I think I actually know now which animal I want to uh, put in here. This cow. Come here, cow! Cows are so universally uh, useful. We need the other cow, though, and not the sheep. There we go! Ignore the wheat, Mr. Sheep! You do not belong in this pen. The cows do, though. Time to get the cows to breed. It works much like how it did before. You give them wheat, they look at each other. And then, there is a baby cow. The parrots and the bats indeed. Marvelous. Do we have enough? Well, I think we do. I think we have enough that we could uh, make another pen. And I keep placing these in the wrong place. We need a lot more space for some chickens. For chickens are the next port of call, and there's a tree in the way. We actually want to get rid of the... Oh, it's the big tree. What have I done? What have I wrought? The answer is I have wrought uh, my uh, 
destroying of this tree, which is going to take a little while, but it will give me a lot of, uh, a lot of wood. I'm gonna need this wood. I believe there is a log or two beyond the foliage there. I could also get some apples. The apples will also be useful. Many things you find in Minecraft are useful. Some things aren't as useful, but everything does have a use. We will, uh, oh, we are not able to reach that. But we can if we climb further up. Ha <laughs> ha! And this is how the avatar perishes. Falling from a tall stack of wood. I have had stranger deaths in Minecraft. Many things have slain me. Drops are one of the things that gets me more often than not. Creeper explosions as well. They can be very sneaky. Now I want to reach this one here. That one is uh, gone now. And then I'm going to start uh, moving these sideways to get to this one. Actually, I need to be higher up. I'm definitely going to get myself hurt at this rate. Okay, any other ones here? There are just so many of them! These large trees are always the bane of my uh, woodcutting existence. But I will prevail. I have no choice but to. I want to get to that one, which means going up again. And getting that anymore. Well, there's that one there. And thus, the avatar chopped down a single tree. And it was quite difficult. But I think I've got them all now. So let's just uh, get rid of these and make sure I don't fall. That would be a good idea. And handily, there's a chicken right here, waiting to be contained in this pen. We just need to uh, put a fence here. And there. And then present the lure. Would you like some seeds? I bet you would. Come in here and ha ha, I have deceived you. There are no seeds here. Now, where is another chicken? There's another chicken. We should also build one for the sheep. Especially that uh, sheep there. Come this way. You too can join the enclosure. And then we shall get a third chicken. I've seen a log there that I've missed. Darn. It's okay, I'll get rid of it now. Come in here. Excellent. Now, I shall give you these, and there shall be another chicken. Excellent. Soon we'll have four. Four will be sufficient for the foreseeable. Now, I need to go up here to get that final one. That one there is stopping everything from uh, being destroyed. There we go. Much better. Yes, I remember when I said that I would go out and look for resources to mine. That didn't happen. Instead, I went out and got some resources to farm, which is still useful. We shall get these. And do I want another one of these? I do. It's extremely handy that um, you can get the sticks from those trees. It just makes the uh, effort of making enclosures and various tools so much simpler, so much more straightforward. Now, I want to actually get rid of this bit of ground, and there's certainly an advantage to uh, having dirt. You always think, why do I want dirt? And then you start a building project, and suddenly you need all of the dirt. All of it. To uh, take this back, we can use the uh, dirt to fill up that hole if I want to. Probably. And then I add another project on top of all the other projects, and eventually I never get round to actually going looking for more resources. I'll have to eventually, all of my uh, iron tools will break. But that is not right now. Not yet. That's pretty much how Minecraft goes for me. It's uh, just one more little project, and before you know it, I'm building 17 villages scattered around a 9x9 large map. Oh, I most certainly did that. I did. Now let's uh, put that there and make a new enclosure. 
I could make a double uh, length enclosure. That seems like a decent idea. Actually, let's use some of this dirt. Like so. I am changing the landscape, forging it to my own desires. We also want to get rid of this uh, bit of dirt. And put this here. We have more things that have dropped from the sky. And that's not meant to be there. We also want to put a few more torches down. Uh, one here. And one here. That should keep that area nice and illuminated. And that chicken got away. You can try and escape, but you will come back. The lure of the seeds will get you. Also, I can't give you anything yet. Keyword, yet. The uh, timer does... Uh, go by quite quickly, but I don't remember how long it is. This should be sufficient for two pens if I separate it out about here. Now I just need to uh, make a hole for the first of the uh, fences, uh, the fence gates, and then the second one. Marvelous. We need a few more torches though. One here. One here, one here, and one there. We also need to be able to lure the uh, sheep in, which I can do using this uh, wheat. I can't lure the pigs, but I can get them in with that leash. I want all of you. Come this way. The wheat is tempting. It entices you. You stare at me blankly as I guide you along like the Pied Piper. You lost interest, though. Uh, could you kindly come this way? Excellent. There we go. It's getting dark. I'd better do this quickly. You're going to go into the lot. No. This way, please. Thank you. You're going to go into the larger of the two enclosures. One, two, still two. Come on. Pretty please. I ask nicely, sheep. Thank you. Now you're trapped. We could eat the apple, but I'm actually going to save the apple. The apple's going to be very useful far later on. Rest, Avatar. Holding a bit of fence. Fence that we're going to be putting in here, because we don't need a fence right now. What we do need is this lead. The lead's going to be important. Now, where are the pigs? Are they over here? The answer is no. There was a zombie there by the looks of it. Didn't drop anything good. That's a pity. There's also a uh, block there. Not going to be... Oh! Oh, that's bad. Fortunately, you're not going to stray that far away from that tree. You shouldn't have tried to shoot me. That was a poor decision. Let's go get you. Aha! Not today, thank you! Oh! You got me there, though. You got me there. You start firing faster the closer you get to me. I forgot how fast you fire, but we did get some new things. Mainly, we got a uh, pile of bone. Now, where were those pigs? There is a pig over there, but there's only one pig. And there's a second pig there. And a third and a fourth. Okay, we found all the pigs. What we're going to do is we're going to circumvent the need for a potato or a carrot. And we're just going to... Attach the lead. Come this way! You literally have no choice, for I've tied a lead to you. You are going to go into my pen. There really are just so many animals here. This actually probably would have been faster than uh, luring the individual chickens. But it, uh, it does only lure one at a time, whereas the uh, wheat and the seeds can lure many things. You're going to come in here. In you go. I'll get the lead back. 
close this off and go and get another one. Then I'll need to sort out my actual farm. For my wheat, primarily. Once, of course, I've got some more iron, because I can't transport any water at the moment. I need a bucket. That is going to, uh, force me to explore. The need for a bucket. Hello, chicken. Don't mind me, I'm after this pig. I've got you now. You will follow me to a place where there is another pig. There are also some sheep, and some cows, and a few chickens. You'll like it there. I'll make sure that nothing bad happens to you. The lead can actually, uh, go quite far. And I imagine if I were to run, the, uh, pig would be, uh, springed forward, as it were. Or the lead will break. I think actually the lead breaks. Forget what I just said there. What I just said there was wrong. Come in here. There we go. There's one more thing I'd like to do. And that is that I'd like to, uh... Get this as a pole. Put a torch on it. No, that's the ground. And I'm going to leash that horse over there. I don't have a saddle yet, but if I do get a saddle, I can get a horse. And that will make exploring around a lot easier. Hello! I really got nothing to lure you, so I'm just going to attach this and tell you to come this way. In real life, this horse would not be happy at all. Don't do this to a random horse you encounter. They're probably not going to appreciate it. Replace probably with definitely. There we go. I now have a horse. And I want to get some more of this, because I'm about to finally go and get more resources. Remember that I said I can get easily distracted by other projects? This was that other project. Now, how many of the, uh, loaves of bread can I make from all this? Two! That should probably be sufficient. I say probably, and then it turns out not to be. There's only one way to find out. Also, I got a mostly destroyed bow. I should probably actually take my stone equipment with me, because, uh, I don't have much equipment at all. Any equipment that I can use right now would be beneficial. And I have three whole arrows for my bow. Those arrows are going to go away extremely quickly. And so, when we come back, folks, I didn't end up going looking for... ore of any kind. I instead made this farm area. I don't have a place for wheat, but I do have some cows, and some chickens, and some pigs that I can't do anything with, and some sheep that I also can't really do anything with. I also have this horse! You are going to be called... Emerelda. Do you like that name? You don't know what I'm saying, do you, do you? No, you don't, because you're a horse. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Oh look! The sun's in exactly the same place as it was before. Curious timing.